Hello everyone. Welcome to our YouTube channel. My view my channel in association of teaching point. Like, subscribe, comment. Visit our website www.teachingpoint.org.in. Good morning student. Today we will discuss our important topic that is molecular orbital theory. Molecular orbital theory was developed by F. Hunt and R. S. Millikan in nineteen thirty-two. The salient features of molecular orbital theory are when atomic orbitals combine or overlap, they lose their identity and form new orbitals. the new orbitals thus formed are called molecular orbital so please remember dear student when two atomic orbitals are combined they overlap and they will lose their identity and they will form molecular orbitals okay so see here the atomic orbital s and s when they combine they will form molecular orbitals okay so the combination of atomic orbital will give rise to the molecular orbital okay now the molecular orbitals are the energy state of the molecule in which the electrons of the molecule are filled just as in atomic orbitals as you observe the electron which is present in an atom are distributed or fill in atomic orbital similarly the electrons of the molecule are filled in molecular orbitals okay in term of probability distribution a molecular orbital give the electron probability distribution around a group of nuclei just as an atomic orbital gives the electron probability distribution around a single nucleus see here this is the atom in which this is the nucleus so this is a atom in this atom this is a nucleus and around this nucleus in three dimensional area of space the probability distribution of electron is takes place okay similarly in another atom the electrons are distributed around the nucleus around the nucleus when these atomic orbitals are combined they will overlap when they overlap they will form the molecular orbitals when these molecular orbitals are formed then the probability electron distribution is now present around the both of the nucleus okay as you can observe on the screen okay now only those orbital can combine to form molecular orbitals which have comparable energies and proper orientation what does that mean here we observe the pz orbital is overlap with another pz orbital and they will give rise to the molecular orbital here pz are atomic orbital when atomic orbital are combined and overlap they will form molecular orbital here the pz pz orbital is having 
comparable energy and proper orientation the meaning of proper orientation here is the electron density is present along the same axis okay observe here in this case we observe in case of pz pz the electron density is present along the pz so that they can overlap in case of the px px the electron density is again present in the same axis or same low, uh, same plane in case of py py the electron density are present at the same axis in all these cases we are able to observe that when electron density is present along the same axis then the atomic orbital will overlap and molecular orbital are formed suppose if we want to overlap a pz orbital in which the electron density is present along the z axis and a px orbital in which the electron density is present along the x axis then what will happen we observe the electron density which is along the pz and the electron density along the px cannot be overlap thus there will be no overlap is takes place if there is no overlap is takes place then you can easily understand how molecular orbital will form so this is not possible please remember it in your mind that is only those orbital can combine to form the molecular orbital which having the comparable energies and proper orientation orientation is plays an important role here here point number 5 when two atomic orbitals combine they form new orbitals called bonding molecular orbitals and anti bonding molecular orbitals so please remember one point uh, dear student that is atomic orbital when combine they will give rise to the molecular orbital in this molecular orbital one type of molecular orbital is anti bonding molecular orbital and another type of bonding molecular another type of molecular orbital is bonding molecular orbitals the bonding molecular orbitals is having the lower energy and more stability okay more stability whereas the anti bonding molecular orbital is having the higher energy okay and less stability okay now the number of molecular orbitals formed is equal to the number of combining atomic orbitals okay so the number of molecular orbital formed is always depend on the number of combining atomic orbital observe here here two s orbitals are involved this is one and two okay and they will form two molecular orbital similarly here pz pz px px py py orbitals are overlap so how many atomic orbitals are overlap here two two and two that is 2 plus 2 plus 2 how many 6 so there are here 6 atomic orbitals are overlap when this 6 atomic orbitals are overlap they will form 1 2 3 that is three anti bonding molecular orbital 1 2 and 3 there is three bonding molecular orbitals okay so what is your observation when here two atomic orbital ss is overlap then two molecular orbitals are formed 
when there are six atomic orbitals are overlap then six molecular orbital are formed out of which three are bonding molecular orbitals and three are anti bonding molecular orbitals okay is that point clear to every student now now we will move forward see here the bonding molecular orbital has lower energy and greater stability as compared to the anti bonding molecular orbital see here this is the atomic orbital okay when these atomic orbital are combined when these atomic orbital are combined they will form two type of molecular orbital first is anti bonding molecular orbital and bonding molecular orbital the bonding molecular orbital is having lower energies whereas anti bonding molecular orbital is having the high energy or higher energies as compared to the energy of atomic orbitals are involved okay so please uh, understand dear student that is the energy of bonding molecular orbital is lower energy of anti bonding molecular orbital is higher as compared to the energy of the atomic orbitals involved okay see here next point that is the bonding molecular orbitals are represented by sigma pi delta whereas anti bonding molecular orbitals are represented by sigma star pi star and delta star okay now the shape of molecular orbitals form depend upon the type of combining atomic orbitals here you observe the shape of molecular orbital when s s orbital is atomic orbitals are combine or overlap when pz pz orbital atomic orbital are combine then this is the shape of molecular orbital when px px atomic orbitals are combine so these are the shape of molecular orbitals similarly when py py atomic orbitals are combine then shape these are the shape of the molecular orbital so what is our understanding by seeing this slide we are able to observe that the shape of the molecular orbital formed depend on the combining atomic orbital it is different in case of the ss it is different in the case of pp in case of pz pz in case of px px it is different and in case of py py it is different okay are you able to observe it see it clearly then you are able to understand this point more clearly okay hello everyone welcome to our youtube channel my view my channel in association of teaching point like subscribe comment visit our website www.teachingpoint.org.in